Good morning. Allow me to share with you the story of our CI journey. At DepEd, we began with a dream, a dream of empowered Filipinos positively contributing to nation building. Let us listen to the dreams of our learners. Ang pangarap ko po sa paglaki ko ay maging architect dahil marunong ako mag-drawing. Pangarap ko po, makapagtapos po ng pag-aaral, maging isang flight attendant. Ang pangarap ko po, maging isang bumbero. Ang pangarap ko sa buhay ay makapagtapos ng pag-aaral at saka maging isang scientist. Can we make these happen? Yes, we will. We are one depth head with one vision. One mission and one set of core values. We are now implementing the K-12 curriculum. We are improving our schools through school-based management. We partnered with the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to model the continuous improvement program. By continuously improving the way we deliver learner-centered education, we are helping our pupils and students achieve their ambitions and aspirations step by step. We looked at the curriculum. What is the highest layer? Yes. And learning activities at our schools. But even with a good curriculum, we would need competent teachers and adequate school facilities to support them. We want our children to enroll in school and keep coming to school because of the nurturing environment and extracurricular activities that enhance their learning experience. When they graduate, they can be entrepreneurs, work in technical vocational fields, or take further studies. To make this happen, we need to plan effectively and provide the needed resources. We need to engage parents. And other stakeholders in the effort. That is what total quality management or continuous improvement is about. Managing each component while ensuring they link up effectively and are continuously improved to achieve excellent performance. This is school-based management. How do we continuously improve the delivery of quality education? We identify priority improvement areas based on the school improvement plan. We form CI teams to undertake improvement projects. Using CI tools, the teams apply continuous improvement methods. The teams then roll out and monitor the CI project. We started the program in mid-2013 with an initial batch of 34 model schools across nine divisions in five regions. We conducted inception visits to understand how the schools operate, their challenges, and level of CI knowledge and practice. With the school heads, division superintendents, and region representatives, we planned how to implement the program. Our CI facilitators and CI teams learned the improvement methodology called AAA and its 10 steps. And later, we conducted training of trainers. Guided by our coaches, the CI teams worked on their school CI projects using AAA. 
Triple A was a significant change from the traditional approach of stating the problem and immediately picking from stock solutions. Triple A assesses improvement opportunities. The root causes of performance gaps are analyzed and improvement solutions are developed. Finally, actions are taken to implement the improvements. Each project is summarized in the CI project template showing the 10 steps under AAA. The support of our school heads and division office turned improvement ideas into reality. Una, sinusuportahan ko sila pagdating sa flexibility. Minsan, kung kinakailangan iparilip ko sila sa klase nila uh, para lang makapagpulong at makapag-brainstorm, yun ay aking ginagawa. At, uh... In all, 35 projects were undertaken in teaching reading, teaching mathematics, teaching science. Managing class attendance, managing waste, and feeding programs. In only four to six months, these projects showed improvements in student performance. na epektibo yung naging proyekto, naging successful kami dun sa target namin. We are more than uh, we are get, we have able to we are able to ta to achieve more than the target of 50%. So mas marami kaming bata ngayon. Ngayon po nagkaroon na... po kami ng feeding program. Monthly po nagkakaroon po ng pagbabago sa kanilang sa kanilang kilos, nagiging energetic sila, active na po. At the same time yung dati po mga, mga bata. Yung... <laughs> Pag tinawag mo, nagvo-volunteer pa nga ma'am eh. Uh, pag nagpapabasa Hindi mo na kailangang, uh, hindi na nag-iintay ng instruction ako, sige mag-start ng magbasa. These projects prove how the systematic CI approach can address the root causes of problems. It's, it's a kind of a unique, I, I find it unique, very uh, accustomed to one, that for me, I, I, many of my needs were, were addressed answered there. Uh, it was a total package actually as a trainer. So this experience for the two CI program that we have had in at Abyss, um, I realized that if we only make a solution based on the root cause, the very root cause of the problem, and then we address that one, we can make a difference, we can make an improvement, though it's... And CI can be applied to all components of SBM. Even now, our model schools are looking forward to their next project. In the, our future project kasi marami kami iniisip, idadaan namin ito uli sa mga proseso kung paano ginawa yung first namin proyekto, gagawin uli namin yung steps na ginawa namin for the, our second project. Paano sa ganun, nakakasiguro kami na magiging maganda rin ang resulta. Hindi yung bang... At nakita na namin yung magandang effect, i-roll out na namin sa lahat ng mga fourth year namin papasok and then uh, pag ma-perfect na yan, gagamitin namin sa other year levels. We would like to start that from early, as early as grade 7. Uh, I'm really very glad because the teachers told me that the children are able to read, that the fourth year students now are able to appreciate math and they are telling me, they are telling the principal that with the CI program in fourth year, they know how to solve math problems. Those 10 steps involved in the CI process uh, attracted me so much. That's why even without somebody telling me to have this replicated in the other schools, I will be having a sort of orientation and seminar among our principals and supervisors this summer so that they will also be able to know 
what is this CI? CI is becoming um, a way of life. Para naging household name na namin yung CI. <laughs> kung minsan, kung minsan mayroon silang ginagawa. Oops, CI ba yan? So parang household name na namin yun. Kung minsan medyo mayroon kami napapansin na iba. CI mo nga yun. So parang tanggap na tanggap. Let us look at some outcomes of our CI project. Pag nandun na po ako sa aking pangharap at nasa harap ko po ang aking teacher, lubos po akong magpapasalamat sa kanya at yayakapin po ng mid at, at salamat po sa kanyang tinuro sa akin dahil sa kanyang natuto ako magbasa. Ano ang mensahe? I'm proud po ma'am. Tuwang-tuwa po ako ma'am. Nagpasalamat po ako ma'am sa mga teacher sa library. Sa totoo pa ma'am, umiyak po ang puso ko. Tuwang-tuwa po ako. Dahil mabuti pa, mabuti yung nagkaroon po ng mga teacher na nag-guide po sa mga bata na hindi marunong magbasa. Kaya pasalamat po ako sa kanila. Salamat po ako sa inyo na napaligayan niyo po ako, natuto ang aking apo. Kaya tinutulungan ko rin po sa pagtutulong aking anak, aking apo. Dahil sa inyo po, makatapos ng high school ang aking anak, buwang po ako, maligaya ako mamatay. The DepEd journey has just begun. Thank you.